Guys, this may be one of the greatest boss fights I've ever played in a video game. I don't- I literally don't know what's happening anymore. Stop! 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 No way! Yo! The main thing that we were doing is fighting Hugo, fighting Titan. That was literally the whole arc of the stream last time was we got to go back to Rosalith Castle. We got to go back to our hometown. We got to go back to where everything started and we got to save our castle from his, his treachery and his trap that he was basically doing. He was drawing us out because he was on this quest for revenge due to everything that happened earlier in the game. And, you know, he wants to kill Sid and, you know, we're Sid basically. So, you know, it, it was, he was mad. He was pissed. We spent the whole playthrough last time basically dealing with that. Um, Jill almost got killed. Um, that was terrifying. I was about ready to cry multiple times over to get that YouTube thumbnail really going, you know what I'm saying? Just kidding, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I was not happy. I thought, okay, this is bad. What are they about to do? And then, Torgal saved Jill in the craziest way? Like, what? Torgal is a special pup. Who would have thought? Apparently me, when I was playing the demo or something like weeks ago, and I was kind of predicting that, but he's a special pup. He's more, he evolved. Into a, he, he evolved into a, a, a crazy <laughs> Pokemon thing. And it turns out he has special powers. And his special powers are sort of linked with Jill. And there's a long lineage of Torgal. Like, all of Torgal's ancestors um, were always like this frost wolf in the north that would protect Jill because Jill's dominant Shiva is from the north as well. Uh, and yeah, he essentially evolved into Fenrir, uh, which is so cool. Um, that was one of the coolest surprises I've ever seen. Um, so that we got that surprise and then that was like only halfway through. We fought Hugo a little bit and then towards the back end, we had this amazing time with Uncle Byron, which was just fire. I loved spending time with Byron. He's one of my favorite characters in this game. He's just so likable. And then, um, we go and confront Hugo in Sembreki, not Sembreki, sorry, Dalmechian territory where the third mother crystal is. And Hugo's not doing well. He is literally like consuming the crystal, like just being an absolute menace. It's like in every Resident Evil game where the ending of Resident Evil, the boss is always like, yeah, but you thought you, you defeated me? Well, guess what? Now I'm gonna inject every single thing into my body and become a giant monstrosity. It was like that, uh, and but it was sick. It was one of the sickest fights, not just one of the best fight in the game. And we fought him, destroyed him, and not gonna lie, correct me if I'm wrong in this chat, but I swear to God, there was like five phases of that boss fight. It was like five. Like I like, it's insane. There was like five phases of that boss fight and we did it. I was freaking out. The music was going crazy. Excuse me. Oh yes. And we saw, yes, we saw Dion, who is the dominant of Bahamut, on the battlefield, like separate scene. And we saw that Joshua met up with Dion and has some sort of thing that he has to talk to Dion about. And it's them meeting for the first time. And very interestingly enough, it's kind of leaning the route of like, okay, could Dion maybe be on the good side? I don't know. Also, Dion and, and Terrence, yes, yes, yes. We love them. That was really cool too. Um, so that was really interesting. That whole part was like, whoa, that's that's wild. Like that could that could really change how some of the story goes here. If one of the dominants, other than just you know me and Shiva at this point, um, is actually on our side, but that's kind of nuts because that would be in Bahamut. I don't know. I don't know because I think this game is not going to shy away from like Bahamut being bad because that's just way too cool to like fight Bahamut at some point if that happens. We're so, troops are yeah. 
I, we know what's happening. We know Bahamut's happening. There. It's gotta happen. It's, it's got to. It's got to. Breath. It's got to. We gotta get. The, we gotta get the ability somehow, dude. <laughs> Out of the shadow, Clive returns to the hideaway and sets about spreading the glad tidings that Hugo Kupka, the man who crushed their former home and saw many of their friends slaughtered, is no more. Those who lost their lives that fateful night are, are avenged, and those lucky enough to survive can now live without fear that he might one day return. Time to speak with Otto. Let's freaking go. Let's do it, chat. I'm ready, man. I'm ready. Clive, you're back. Oh, man. Yeah. And with glad tidings for once. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. Damn right, he's comrades gone. Who lost their lives back at Sid's place. Be smiling down at you right now. He is gone. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? It's... It's a long story. There's really only like two Welcome crystals the left. Three books, I'll bet. You know? Welcome home, Clive. I think. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Nice. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. Let's go! You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Oh? Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> if you really want to know, go and have a word with Vivian. Thank you. I will. Vivian, time to find out more. Let's go, Vivian. Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident physica suggests that you picked up something more important. A scent. The scent of Willudas. The very same. Are we going to fight Odin next but in this game? whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the royalists, he took them to his grave, as did his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken I'm over excited. the fight. I'm excited. I'm excited. I've never seen such creatures in Storm before. The Waludas must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home, the mother crystal of an allied nation, and let both fall? It makes no sense. Don't know. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the Adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. Okay. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there? Then my map. She just hashtag added us. She said, you know, I have a great thing to show you. My map that you already know about. Did you know the I have a map? The kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. All of Ash, that's it crazy. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. Wow. The Battle of Belinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. Oh God. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Farm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian <laughs> He allies. said, I don't care. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Oh, God. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Only to make no attempt to claim the mother crystal for Walud. That is strange. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Walud standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. And on that day, who will be trampled underfoot? They're really setting up Odin as like almost final boss feeling. In summary, Jesus. I know not to attend the royalist betrayed Kukka. 
I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. A scheme tied to the ambitions of one man. King Barnabas. But there is no need to wallow in confusion. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And your Lord Uncle has volunteered to do just that by keeping an eye on the Royalists' movements. Y'all taking notes? Y'all taking notes? <laughs> He's really throwing himself into this. Thank you, Uncle Byron. <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to do is await his reports. Well, not quite all in your case. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. Justice has been done. Hugo Kupka is dead. I like how they're not shying away the from like the ramifications of that. Are still raw, especially for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them that those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. Okay. I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Hmm. Very well. Hmm. I'll go and spread the word. Hmm, 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 Chad. Ah, Clive, have you come seeking the gift of knowledge? No. To share mine, actually. Hugo Kupka is dead. He's gone. Crab rave. Oh my. Can, can, can it really be true? Oh. <laughs> Look, he's crying. Oh. <laughs> he is the big baby. Don't make fun of him. And with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer up a prayer to your parents that the heavens might weep with us. Oh. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. Go put away your things. All right. Brilliant. Finally, a new dawn has broken. It has. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good news. Hippocrates. Oh, God. After Kuka fell, the music. Ultima came to me. Uh oh. I need to know what he is. Oh, God. Have you learned anything? Alas, no. And not for want of trying. I have scoured nigh every historical tome in our collection and found nothing. Not even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. What? But I saw him with my own eyes. I don't doubt that you did. Alas, it seems you are the only one who has. To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake, like some terrible force of nature beyond the ken of mortal man. A bringer of death. Whether the ultimate oh, you met God. with was the being itself, or merely another projection of its power, I know not, but until I do, my investigations shall continue. Thank you. It means a lot. All right, I guess it's just time to talk to Otto. You barely said Dan since you came home. You even got you running air rhythms or something. Just spreading the word. Oh. Okay. Jill. So, the professor's got a soft side, has she? I'd never have guessed. No. I can hear the Moogle to the left she of the screen. Right, everyone was glad to hear the news. Ah, <laughs> oh, but you ain't told everyone. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more peacefully. Y'all hear that too? Hear the... Not least of all Sid. You should tell him. <laughs> You're right. I should. And I will. Well, when you wait, do, tell Sid, like go to his sure grave. To mid with you. She's been going at it hammer and tongs down at that workshop of hers. Oh, I do her father proud. I can't remember the last time she visited the old salt's grave. Very well. That's I'll so cute. It. What we're gonna go to his grave? 
to like bring him peace. Oh, dude. Hey, mid. All right, Clive. What do you want? Are you good? I'm going to visit Sid, and I thought you might like to come with me. Sorry, I'm too busy for all that right now. I've got to get this thermal displacement stack sorted. Thermal. <laughs> displacement stack. Thermal displacement yeah. stack. And uh, this is for. Sounds like some link would Only build. the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. The Enterprise. The Enterprise? <laughs> Yo, Captain Kirk? Me and my dad designed it together. What? Where all the vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water. Ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than all the hells put together. Which is where is the so stack cool. comes in. I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little dockyard in Canva. But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it here. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold things up over at the shipyard. <laughs> I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> Is there anything I can do to help? Good old Clive. I were hoping you'd say that. She's so first cool. First things first, I need some parts making. Oh my god, this feels so much like Final Fantasy The stack will be made up of three major components. Gotta fix up the regalia. There's the plate in here that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top that disperses all that heat into the air. I love the art on this. This is really cool. And the shield in around the sides. That stops the rest of the ship from going up in flames. Gotcha. A full suit of armor, then. Probably best to take it one piece at a time. Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits onto it. I've got the designs and the list of materials here. Show these to Blackthorn. He'll know what to do. Okay. So we're fixing up a new ship. I can't make it not tell of them. Luckily. You don't need to. I like how Clive says, I don't know what this means. <laughs> Clive literally goes, I can't make heads or tails of this. <laughs> Go on then. What is it this time? She said you would know. Here. Thermal plating designs. It is, it's an airship from F-14. Okay, I didn't know that. Great I didn't know that's what it was called. I forgot. That's really well. cool. I don't know what the hell you'd want this hmm. for, but I can make it. Won't be easy, though. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. Build ship. So Mid's roped us all in here again, has she? Typical. Still. <laughs> if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave, I'll do what I can. No. And uh, what is it we need to do exactly? Take a look at this. It's this plating. The usual sword grade still won't work. We need something that can get very hot, very fast, and still keep its shape. That means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at the temperature she's talking about. <laughs> Which is where you lot come in. <laughs> I need materials, and I've got my work cut Yo. out already. You'll have to fetch them. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they Stardust. call it. Stardust. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and bringing back here. Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from this supplier. Right then. Can I choose? Well, make your minds up who's going where. We can get this over with. I assume I'm going to the desert. I assume. Because I feel like they'd want you to go back there at least one more time. Gather the mess. Wait. This is gather the necessary materials. Speak with Blackthorn? Wait, but do I already have it? You're going after the Stardust then, are you? Oh, no. Which one of these two lucky souls is going with you? Wait, can I pick? Wait, what? I can pick? Wait, 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 what? Can I have auto in the party? What? I might pick auto. I, I, I kind of want to see how it is. I'm curious. Auto, you're with me. 
All right, then. Where do we find this stardust, and how will we know it when we see it? There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. And I'm guessing you'll be needing sack loads of the stuff. Okay. I'll head down there. See about finding us a wagon. All right. I'll meet you by the river. You two take care, eh? I'll go and see the supplier. Just don't let the bastard fleece you, eh? <laughs> nah, he wouldn't do that. He's Blackthorn's mate. Isn't he? Bad ending, bad ending. <laughs> Best of luck. I'm so intrigued if Otto fights with us in the wild. Otto! <laughs> I'm like jumping. Otto! <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Oh, Claude. So happy. I had a quick scout about, and I reckon this area is our best bet. Yo. Seems Blackthorn's the only one who thinks smithing with his stardust stuff's a good I idea. I saw a lizard disappear it's into the ether. Lying here, waiting for any old fool to fill his boots. I swear I saw that. But unlike any old fool, you thought to bring a wagon. Well spotted. Now get filling. <laughs> Oh, are you, are you not gonna join my party? There's plenty of this stuff about. I, I want you to join my party. I also understand if they didn't want to make another sprite for someone who's only in your party for 0.5 seconds. Collect Stardust. I feel like I'm collecting the things in Tears of the Kingdom. Not trying to spoil so Tears of the Kingdom, stardust. but remember like the random star things that come down? Here, Claude. Do you fancy your walk? Oh. This is cute. Sid would be proud. Oh. Of what? Of you, you idiot. The way you've carried on what he started. When we first met, I had you down as a spoiled little puppy who enjoyed nothing more than biting the hand that fed you. But five years on, you're the one doing the feeding. So thanks for proving me wrong. You weren't wrong. But I changed. Thanks to Sid. And thanks to you. When I suggested taking on his name, you were the first to back me. And if you hadn't, no one else would have. I couldn't have done any of this without you, Otto. Now give over. You're making me blush. All I did was choose hope over despair. I gave you a chance. Yes. But you're the one who took it. You took a rabble of homeless, hopeless outcasts and put them back on their feet. Gave him something worth fighting for. Why are the characters so Just good like in this game? Did. Why are the characters so good? Like, Otto, I barely even know you that well as a character, and I you you're just cool. That was such a cool conversation. Like, I feel like this about time I was heading back, I reckon. No. Always scrabbling about in the sands, taking its toll on the old pins. I feel that though. I'll see you back at the hideaway then. You can take a well-earned rest when you get there. Oh, I plan to. Believe you me. <laughs> but I'll make sure Blackthorn gets his precious black sand before I put my feet up. He'll only moan otherwise. Oh. Right. Oh. Ready to go home. Like how Tuckle's just watching that combo. If anything happens to this dog, dude, I swear, I swear, I swear. Got everything you need. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on with. Nice to get out and about for once. Yeah, Otto. Do it again sometime, mate. Eh? Damn right. I'll make a start on putting this firm old plating together then. I wonder if we have to get the other thing. Take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with, I could do it, without you breathing down my Or is my that neck. all of it? Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let Mid know construction's underway. Or maybe not. Maybe that's all we needed to do.
Oh, no, it says letting off steam one. Oh. Okay. Suppose we'd better be getting back to work, too. Give us a shot if you need anything. All right. So I assume there's two more. You'll be pleased to hear that Blackthorn started work on the plate. Yes. Excellent. Nice. One down, two to go. Cool. So, what's next? The helm, of course. For this, we'll be repurposing fallen scrap. Salvage from the ruins? I thought that material was all but impossible to work. Ah, but we don't have to. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape Ooh, dungeon and time? size pieces Maybe? for what we need. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. Okay. Is her name actually what's, what's her, her name? name? <laughs> right. <laughs> I like that. What's her name? Right. Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Hello. Uh, yes. Mid said I should speak with you. I'll show you the plans then. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. Okay, I just want to say this. I'm so sorry, but just for my zombies guys out there. And again, I like referencing zombies from time to time, okay? I don't hate zombies. I love zombies. It's part of my life. Does this remind anybody else of like the old like old diagrams we used to get? Like th this looks like something that would be like on the like crinorium. Like, please don't make fun of me. Like, it does, though, right? Like, it doesn't have the vibe of that. Like, it feels like I'm about to see, like, a little signature at the bottom that says Porter's X2 ray gun or something. That heat is you then know? harnessed to produce motive force. Excess heat is dealt with by means of the thermal Why are you laughing at me? I'm right. Which disperses it into the surrounding air. Do they really now, taking the time to explain were this? Were we to rely on thermal plating alone to achieve this effect... The rate of excess heat I literally look, up I look in the chat and I just the see the nerd emoji. The plating. In other words, the <laughs> reactor would overheat and... Can you imagine if Clive just puts on some this glasses and goes... Comes in. It connects to the plating, you see, and serves as a sort of... <laughs> as she's talking. ...to absorb all that excess energy. <laughs> Our experiments have shown that fallen ceramics are remarkably thermophilic. They can withstand and absorb levels of heat far above anything we are able to make today. And not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect material for our protective hood. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear the ship from stern to... You can stop there. I understand. <laughs> Mid <laughs> said we might be able to use parts of fallen ruins. That's literally me when I explain the it. zombie story to M. Ah, you yes. can stop there. It's in Lorbert's Pass near Lost Wing. Stop. The thing is, well, I probably should have arranged to have the pieces we need brought here sooner. You see, a certain unwanted visitor has taken up residence there. What? It's no longer a matter of just walking in and taking them. It's... I see. An I unwanted visitor. This unwanted visitor it's for Uncle you. Byron. Would that help? You have to do an Uncle Byron <laughs> boss fight. Very much. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you <have to laughs> I'll gather my team and head there right away. I don't know why. That's... We'll meet you outside the ruin. <laughs> it's Uncle Byron just chilling. <laughs> if, oh, mm. there you are, Sid. Um, thanks so much for coming. The, I don't know. Uh, ruins are. Just over there, as is the creature I told you about. Yeah, his mouth imagine. is open, yeah. Would you, uh, would you mind? Of course. I'll be right back. I don't know. Anybody home? Or if I'm a unique icon. This must be our unwanted visitor. Oh my god. Time to go. Dude, that, that noise. I forgot I can block, dude. What the? F oh, I'm so dead. Failed. <laughs> Did I just die to an eyeball? Sit down. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mike Wazowski. Oh. 
we have killed the eyeball. The things I do for you, Mid. Sid! Oh, thank goodness you're safe. You shouldn't have any trouble now. Indeed. Well, don't let us keep you. We'll, um, see that everything is transported safely back to the hideaway. All right. Okay, was that it? That's all we needed to do? Okay, so that's... There it is, letting off steam too. All right, we only have one more then for the, the airship. Mid. Helena has recovered the material for the helm. She'll be along shortly. All right, what's next? Excellent. Another job well done. And just one remaining. Yep. Right. Right, the shield in. This one's a bit of a bugger. How so? The plating's enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of the ship ablaze. I want to see if... Which is why you need proper shielding. A prison for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I want to see if they have a nerge a moment thick again. a layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too heavy. The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Well, if I were in need of obscure knowledge, I know whose counsel I am. Hippocrates! Hippocrates. Tomes? Yeah, well, I'd thought of that, obviously. I've got all the details written down here. Can you take this to him? See what he makes of it? In some ways, I kind of think of Mid as right like away. Clive's niece, almost. Do you know what I mean? Like, like Clive kind of seems like the, like, kind of like her uncle, you know? Because I think, I think of Sid and Clive as, like, kind of bros, you know? Hippocrates, oh, oh. do you have a moment? For you, Clive? Always. Well, actually, it's for mid this time. Could you take a look at this? What is happening to Person Man in the chat? <laughs> the third time I've made that joke. Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mithril engine. Whatever will that girl think of next? What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside, and yet remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light enough not to sink it. As right. you can imagine. She's struggling to find anything that meets her needs. Right, 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 right. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution, or if you might be able to search the records for one. Hmm. Perhaps it is not a different material she requires, but a different approach. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine at timber and steel alike. Chat, are you guys retaining any of this knowledge? I feel like I'm not retaining any of those this. Very materials, nonetheless. Is it because we all have short term, yeah. uh, short, <laughs> short, Bardolf must short every term over to content keep brain? And Obelisk complains that without a constant supply of... <sighs> Pitch. I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. It is said to be able to resist even the most ferocious flames. Before the dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, what? nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to guard against dragon fire. That's so, so cool. Uh, that that little it, tidbit was really cool, it though. It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, perhaps Bardolf and Obolus might be of assistance. I shall speak to them and see what wisdom they off. might have to offer. If you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients, I shall discuss the specifics of how it might be most effectively put to use with our two friends. The knowledge of the past may yet prove useful to we of the modern era. Thank you, Harpocrates. What a legend. And since you're asking others to help you, perhaps I should too. Okay, are you guys saying that Discord doesn't work? Wait, what? I'm trying to understand you guys are saying it works so you need a hand do you oh we do 
I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. I could do with some help. And some company too. No! The other can assist me. No, in they're not! To prepare the shield. No! Let me count on your aid. Always. No, I have to pick. Well, if Jill's game. Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my research. I leave the decision as to who will go with whom in your capable hands, Clive. Oh, no. Oh, no. Chat is going to be in an uproar. Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. We could have done with some of that on Drustinus. I doubt I would have survived that place with or without it. A trip to Northreach, though, I think either of us could handle. Oh, God. So, Clive, have you made your decision? Who will accompany you on your little excursion? Have I made my decision? I'm just messing with you guys. I'm picking Jill. Are you kidding me? I am picking Jill. A hundred percent. So get get trolled guys I, i'm i love taria i think taria is awesome as well but jill i need them to bond more they keep on they literally keep on teasing it that they literally love each other but they won't do it they won't commit and so i need more i need more of them together if i like look if i got an auto scene last time i'm getting definitely a Jill scene this time, and I want more Jill scenes. That's Very crazy. Well. So then, what do we need to find? I have taken the liberty of preparing a list here. White chocobo eggs. Pepio nuts. Are you sure this list is right? Everything on here seems very edible. I would have thought the ingredients would be a little more exotic. Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects that are rarely exploited. Effects for which they were once highly prized. So much so, in fact, that they were harvested almost to extinction, hence Moondews having fallen from favor. Now, he of just course, knows everything. they can be obtained with ease. You should be able to find everything you need at the market in Northreach. Like, he just sits Isn't here behind so? a desk and knows everything. I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I'll set out now. Join me there when you're ready. I will. Until then. You two enjoy yourselves. You too, Talia. Bye bye, Talia. How goes the hunt for ingredients? How's it going? Uh, I've only just started. Oh. I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst all these stalls, though. Why don't we split up and see? We'll take a couple of ingredients each. All right. What am I looking for? How about you look for the pepio nuts and some garlic? I'll find the other things we need. We can meet by the gate when we're This finished. really feels like when I'm cooking with Emmy. <laughs> like they sell everything here at the market. Like I need garlic and pepio nuts won't take I feel long. like this is like when I'm There's cooking and Emmy's nice like, "All right, you go get the the lemon pepper." And then you go get this, and you get the garlic salt, and then you get that. All right, you good? All right. Let's cook. There we go. Did you find everything? Yes. I did. Here. Here's the garlic, Jill. <laughs> There's something about Clive just be like, Jill, look. Look at the garlic, Jill. Please. <laughs> Please take it. <laughs> garlic and pepio nuts. Perfect. Now all that remains is for Harpocrates to somehow turn all this into what Mid needs to keep her engine cool. Oh. But before we head back, <gasps> would you walk with me a while? Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. They're so cute. I, I want to know. Please. Please. Thank you for asking me to help you today. It makes a nice change. It does. It's good to get away from all the battle and bloodshed for once. Just being here, 
Reminds me of when we were children. Do you remember? Walking down Market Street in Rosalith, taking in the sights and smells. <laughs> how could I forget? What with Torgal's antics. Oh. Remember how his nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go racing away and we'd have to go running after him. Oh. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? <laughs> Is there anything you wanted to buy for yourself while we're here? There was, yes. Bonding like, over the pet? Of. Check. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells particularly good pies. Thought you might like to share one with me. <gasps> I would. Thank you. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry cured ham and it was just... Oh. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Sorry. It's just... Oh, you're right. I really do feel like a child again being here with you. Alive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy this? No! No, it's not! No, Jill. This is how life should be. And it's how our lives will be when our work is finally done. Oh my god, don't say that. And that makes me live on our own time. That makes me scared. That makes me scared. When you say it, that makes me scared. I hope so. Uh oh. Thank you, Clive. Ah! He reached out his hand. He literally did. Hold. Everybody hold. Well, I suppose we best be getting back. No. I need to give these ingredients to Harpocrates and Talia. I'll see you at the hideaway. No. Take care. No. I will. You too. How many times? That was a date. That was a date, chat. They had bread and soup together or something like that. And pies. <laughs> I wonder how Hippocrates is going to It's going to happen, ending. though. They're building it up way too much. It's either going to happen or it's going to end in tragedy. And gee, I wonder what this game likes doing more. Tragedy. I'm scared. I am genuinely so scared of this game. Welcome back. I hope you two had fun while I was busy helping Harpocrates. Ah, Clive. Harpocrates has all the ingredients. We were just waiting for you. How's work on the shielding progressing? She Harpocrates? knows! Well, very well indeed. And thanks in no small part to your kind she assistance. She knows, chat. I was just explaining to Taya how we might best go about preparing the moon dew. And now that we have all the ingredients, we may begin. You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions in my time. <laughs> I'm sure you have. What about the shielding itself? Work is underway, under the watchful eyes of Bardolf and Obelus. Apparently, it'll be ready soon. Who is Bardolf again? Thank you. I you. remember Obelis, but who's Bardolf? Right then. Jill, would you join me in the infirmary? Many hands make light work and all that. Of course. Oh? Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> it was nice just being with you.
it appears our work here is almost at an end. Dude, they Shame. literally know what they're doing. They I literally know what they're doing, Jack. The action for once. They're so when cute! And the moon, you are ready. It will they're so be a freaking of cute! The the other. Oh Followed my god! The process of testing and retesting, of course. Oh! Perhaps someone ought to warn young mid of that. Leave it to me. Thank you, Hippocrates. I feel like I flirt more with Hippocrates. Actually, no, we definitely flirt more with Jill. But I'm just like, God dang it. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Why did you want to tell me that? We're <laughs> pleased to know that work on the shielding is underway. You found something for it. Uh. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that's highly resistant to heat. A coating that should provide the protection you need. He's supervising the construction and testing of the shielding as we speak. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Don't thank me. I'm just the errand boy. Right then. Better start working out how to bolt all these bits together. To the black hammer. Okay. Is it time? Do we finally get the ship? <laughs> Dun, 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 no, when dun, I go into dun, the dun, smithing dun, dun, game, dun, dun. I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. <laughs> Displacement stacks. Displacement Same stacks. Difference. Oh, she looked kind of sad. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as it is. Let's take this outside. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll take care of the rest. On my way. Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. <laughs> I love it. Oh my god. Yo? Sometime later. Show it to me. Where is it? Wait. Are we transforming the whole thing? Is it the whole hideaway? Oh, it might just be the whole hideaway is the ship. Because it was built in a fallen ship. It's finished! It's finally finished! Wait. Are we about to, like, lift off? Why? Well, Fuck for that. <laughs> I'll be feeling my hammer arm for weeks. Thank you, <laughs> Blackthorn, everyone. That's one down and just three more to go. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Oh, didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and we'll be needing a displacement stack for each. Mid. You don't mean. Mid. <laughs> Mid, no. Don't worry. No. Now they've got a finished one to work off. My gang in Canva can build oh this. Oh my God. They almost. Good luck to them. Why I did say. they do that? Why right, would you I'm scare me? I'm for this elbow. Any other work comes oh in. Oh my gosh. To yourself, hey? Dude, I was about to say, no way. If I had. If I had to do that like three more times, chat. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off over the horizon to shores unknown, searching for a land untouched by the blight, just like me and my dad planned. So if the worst came to the worst and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black. We might still have a chance. That's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. Aww. And now she's so close to being finished. I've realized I don't want her to be that. Not like an arc. I don't mm -hmm. want her to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to if things get desperate. I want... I want people to sail a border by choice, not from the lack of it. In a world where we're not just trying to survive, but where we can actually live. Let's go. On that. Let's go. And I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> Don't you always? All right. My mind's made up. She's so cool. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm putting her under your command. Yeah. Sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure about this? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. He'd be proud of you. You, um, you were going to visit his grave, weren't you? I was. And you can come too, now that your little project is finished. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. Won't be a mo. All right. 
I'll let Otto know you're coming. This is gonna Eat be really... in the mess when I'm gonna ready. get emotional here. Oh aye, god. Aye, Captain. Oh god, I'm gonna get emotional here. I've seen that before. You yeah, have, yeah. Plenty of times. It was the only goblet Sid ever used. Either out of habit, or because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. I knew so little about him. Not most people. Martha and the Dame both seem to have fond memories of him. Huh. I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers. Twenty years? Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship. Which is where I met him. He bought passage to... I oh, forget where. But having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. What? Promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was... before fate stepped in and said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day and there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have... My family... were the ones who summoned the constable. Wanted the monster taken away. Oh my God. I couldn't turn my back on him. Forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. Luckily, Sid was of the same mind as me. And it was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. Wow. Wow. <gasps> what? 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 We see him again. What? He was always too clever for his own good, was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was, while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. Seeing them all following. Well, he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him. Ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. Oh. <laughs> but I couldn't even do that. What a good scene. Ignore me. Just the ramblings of a tired old man. Nah, dude. Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. Oh my god. This, this is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto. I may be drunk, <gasps> but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. This note. It's so perfect. Mm -hmm. It's such a perfect, just... 
What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. He should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. But then why would he? Him or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. Dude. You're wrong, though. This game. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. Would you rather go with the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Maybe one of the best scenes. You go, one of the best scenes in the game. Sid would have wanted you to have this. No. But that's this will do me just fine. Oh, God. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. What the hell? Payback. Why you gotta destroy my emotions in a side quest? That was a side quest, chat. Like, I feel really bad building a ship. for... Yeah, literally. That's what I'm saying, Sean. I feel really bad for someone who did not see that. That was, like, arguably one of the best scenes in the game, in my opinion. Like... That, like, it's, it's so... It's just small, and it's just, you know, an he intimate conversation. Christine. But... So well done. That was just really well written and seeing Sid again in a scene like what? So cool. All right, Clive. Asterix. Mid finish. I remember reading that like hours ago. Twins, I swear, that girl do anything to put off visiting her old dad's grave. No excuses now. Though, well, that's right? right, the grave. Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had to take care of. I'm sure she'll be finished soon enough. She said that. Excalibur looks clean. She did, yes. Oh. Clive. Were you born yesterday or something? There is no thing. She'll probably be halfway to Canva by now. What? Mid. I might still be able to catch her. Oh, she doesn't. She's running away from visiting the grave. Oh. Obelith. Have you seen Mid? Yep. In a boat, going that way. <sighs> then I'm too late. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she wouldn't wait. Just paid for a dinghy and rowed off. Oars going like the clappers. <laughs> Got some life in her, and she? She left. But anyway, I was on my way up to see you, as it happens. Got a letter for ya. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was to hand it to you in person, post-bleeding haste. And you're here now. Thank you, Obelith. Don't mention it. Oh, my God. What tidings, uncle? What is going on? My dear boy, my journey to Canver has been a resounding success. The friend I mentioned not only agreed to share the contents of his strong box with us, but his considerable knowledge of the going-ons in the free cities, by which I learned of the endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. Though I for one believe Miss Telemann's project to be quite the valiant enterprise, I doubt they can 
Canvarian authorities will take kindly to the unauthorization or un unauthorized use of their dockyards, no matter how deserted. And if rumor has already reached my friend, it may not be long before the guild masters are rapping at our door, which is why I pen you this note. I would like to borrow your man Gav for a moon or two, that he might keep a watch on those who might mean our fellowship ill and warn us of any impending attack. I trust that you will give this proposal your full consideration. Your loving uncle, Byron. Troubling Canva. She extracted? Well, I'll need someone to keep an eye on Mid. <laughs> God dang it, Liam. She did, man. So what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work and then just sailed off into the sunset? She got the it, loot. Uh, seems that way. Well, nothing we can do about it now. That's actually the really next sad. Time you plan on visiting Sid. You might want to tie her to something before you suggest it. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of fun. Everyone pitching in, all that bollocks. Just like when we built this place. <laughs> You're right. Anyway, we all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to Canva pretty sharpish. Wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. Gav will be leaving with me. Will you mind the place while we're gone? You can count on me. Otto will always have his place. will give Sid and the others my regards. All right. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. Yay! She's got some things to take care of, but she'll meet us there. I hope she's telling the truth at least. Sid's legacy. The dust long settled little remains of the once bustling uh, refuge many called home. So are we going back to the old hideout? Hey, oh, hey, hold up, hold up. Are we going back to the old hideout? That's where we're going? Oh, man. I'm gonna cry. Oh, God. Oh, stop. Sid, I remember what you told me. But if no one is listening to what you have to say, you may as well not say it. But I will say this, old friend. And Hugo Cooker is gone. His shadow looms over us no longer. It's a pity the phoenix can't be in two places at once. If he'd have been with us, maybe he could have done something for the lost. Not even the phoenix can bring people back from the dead. Life has a beginning and an end. So we must live while we have the chance. Slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Hey. Oh, she's got a little flower. Karen's here. Goats is here. Lady Karen, what a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. scenic view back then but it were never as bad as this I know the blight marches on I love Sid so much man and soon 
There'll be no escaping sites like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. Damn right. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. Oh, God. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. We're about to. If we're... you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with hey. you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a traveling trader, assuming you've no better ideas. She's kind of. She's got a point. You to wanted honest. to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> You're letting me go with them. Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You'll break me bones, you great galoot. What? <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants oh, Guild. Oh. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, OK, then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Dude, if anything happens to Gav, all right. Aren't I always? I feel like I've seen a lot of people. <laughs> Guys, how many subs have we gotten in this stream? This is insane. Blissful, thank you so freaking much. Thank you. Did you see that, Sid? Your protege's making a proper little outlaw of himself. <laughs> playing a game yeah if, can you believe it <laughs> Play, we're playing a video game there wasn't much to that cutscene left though so that's good oh. this reminds me a lot of like the beginning of the game when Clive like flash forward Onward. Got the Excalibur oh, sword. Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. And Torgal helped too. The new boy. I could low key, I don't know if anybody else agrees, but I could low key have like 20 more hours of just Clive, Jill, and Torgal, and I'd be happy. Like, can I just have, like, a side quest adventure for, like, 20 hours with Clive and Clive, Jill, and Torgal, like, as, like, a spin-off game or something? Like, please? This used to be trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass. Whoa. And all official traffic moved there. Oh, my Leaving God. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Oh, I can see, like... 
animals down there. This is so gorgeous. What the hell? This area is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Yo. The final sin. So this is the Mechas. Clive is so pretty. Can I just say that? The land of the gods. Clive is she's so pretty too. Even more Everybody's so pretty. Than I, imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here. At these falls. What? Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. Let's go down there. Side the quest time. The gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. That's interesting. Lore? A vast cavity in the earth located in the steppes of Forgotten, a desolate coastal region of eastern Demekia. Despite the fact that for centuries, seawater from the Strait of Atha has flowed into the plumble, plumless crater without ease, it shows no sign of filling. What? The tragic tale that came to be known as the sins of this Mekis is said to have taken place here. The water constantly fills, but there's no sign of it filling. That's odd. That's weird. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? They're so cute. Winter. Just look at this place. Winter. Okay. Get down. Get down. Stop putting your butt in the camera. Get down. Thank you. Thank you. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. It's a cool scene about, like, the potential lore of the world. Which we, we need to see more of. Because it's all going to come back, I'm sure. Five? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. What's bothering you, lad? Okay. Meanwhile, okay, empire time. Oh, Jesus. I see the reports are true, Father. Oh, my God. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. No! I forgot about this. I have. Yikes, why? Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambre. Yikes! Oh, Dion's pissed. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. But have you seen Joffrey I shall in Game of Thrones? him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. 
Ere long, the imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. God, they think they're undefeatable. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. No. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. Oh, I hate him. I hate it him so time much. To show the world the true power of Sambrek. Oh, hold on, let me look at the lore really fast. I just want to see if there's anything. The Gregorian Church, the state religion of the Holy Empire Sambreki, whose followers worship the goddess Gregor as the one true deity. As at the church head stands the Holy Emperor, voted into office by his fellow cardinals. And supposedly they're equal, uh, though this is widely recognized to be a convenient fiction. The followers of Grieger worship dragons as sacred servants of their goddess, and since the founding days of the Empire have both uh, doted and depended upon them. Okay, Jesus Christ. He married Annabelle Rossfield and sired a second son, Olivier, with her. Annabelle and Olivier's influence in the affairs of the Imperial Court was to only grow over the years. And until he's finally convinced to surrender to the young prince, announcing to be the latest in the long line of earthly incarnations of Grieger. Jeez, man. After Annabelle's machinations saw the Dalmex siege of the Crystal Dominion broken and the victory ascribed to the young prince, Sylvester was convinced to surrender his throne to their beloved son, anointed him Emperor, Emperor Olivier, first of his name. So basically, because Annabella, um, like, kind of was successful and, and like she kind of like thwarted Hugo and all that in some offhanded way. He, he, he's like fully convinced. Okay. I'll let, I'll let you have Olivier as the, the leader. Like what? Father. <laughs> I find you much change. Tell him, tell him. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Tell him. Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps. What? They what know. What nonsense is this? What? Oh, Dion's talked to Joshua. I speak my mind. And my mind only. Do they even know who Ultima is? So I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths regarding the nature of nation, of rulers. And of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. <gasps> you're not Tinker! you're Silence! not yawning right now. Insolent wretch. <clears throat> oh my god. You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. <laughs> no! He's just like Joffrey. No. No, he really is like that. No, dude. I'm hungry, father. Can't we have luncheon instead? What's up with the flowers? Like are they like Does like, it pain it's you weird. that you will not inherit your father's throne? Okay, Annabella. I have suffered worse. <laughs> mm. 
Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. Oh, what do you know of my blood? Dude! He could literally turn into a dragon at any point, Annabella. What are you doing? Are you dumb? Okay, I am I'm I'm calling it now. I never thought I would say this with this game starting. But Dion has talked to Joshua at this point. He knows Annabella's scheming. He clearly is at odds with what's going on. I think Dion is gonna be in our party at some point. I don't know how. But I think it's gonna happen. Infiltrating the I don't know how, the on but alert. that's gonna be nuts. This looks really cool. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in? Uh, Pancakes. How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. I am more than welcome to look. They're so cool. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Right. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. Boo. Looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go in and find good, shall we? He must be around here somewhere. It's my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! Nectar? You mean the Moogle? I'll take the large one. Yo! Oh, dude. There you are. Clive! I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? What's wrong? Slow down, Goots. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. No. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? They did. It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. Chat, I was in Amsterdam a couple years ago. And I got my COVID vaccine, sorry, my COVID vaccine card. Yeah, COVID vaccine card got stolen from my back pocket when I was in Amsterdam. When a guy, like, asked me for directions. And I didn't realize it till later. I was like, yo, that's crazy. Like, that was the first time I, that, like, that felt like a video game. But, like, I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> but I, I still this day do not have my actual, like, original COVID vaccine card because it got stolen in Amsterdam. I don't know. So, to get the pass back, Contact. we need to find yeah. this child. Where would we even start? Who steals a COVID vaccine? I think they thought of something else, I right? I've and they just probably. Alan Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on around here than she does. Where do we find her? I probably thought I had money in my back pocket or something. She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. I got no Skyrim. Like present. You two go on ahead. I'm going to check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Goots is so cute. I love him. Nuts. Looking to hire a coach? It's 10 million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. <laughs> then I bid you good day. No! Wait! Just don't go, Elle! He's been made! 
As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Boklad? <laughs> this party. <laughs> I gather Lady Karen did <laughs> I just don't know you. why, like, the pan over and you see Torval just going. <laughs> oh, my God. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It got stolen. By a little burn. Of all the... You're the size of a marble. <laughs> Honestly... Ugh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. Nah. Torgal does though. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Her eyes look cool. Good night, D3PO. Good night, man. So why'd they take my pass? Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots' pass, the heck? no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants, which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back, and we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you in if you're not with the caravan. It's that a uh, dude. It is way too I late. Don't know, try swimming across the strait. <laughs> but the guards will definitely spot you if you try. No. Like, uh, we don't it is get way spotted, too late to try right? to find a pass to get through a so gate. Either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um. Yeah, but I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Eloise. Clive. I've always liked that name. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Shout out to Eloise. Crimson Collar. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Come. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wee's collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. 
The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. Hmm. I don't really understand this quest as much. It might just be because I'm you getting tired. Find anything of this quality. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! That sounds good Can though. I interest you? Ah, sorry. <laughs> Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the so sound it's, of so it. So it's kids. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entrance. Dude, way. if the medicine girl is the one that did it, that would be absolutely mind Some of them blown. take it as an opportunity to rid themselves. Like, I, I want that to happen now. Baggage. If it's the medicine girl. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? That'd be so funny because because Jill saw the medicine girl before and also Joshua talked to the medicine girl on his way to the crystalline dominion. Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. I was just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. Anything you grown-ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. Yo, chill. And guess what I'm about to tell you to do? <gasps> Sorry. Don't I'll talk to her like that. Oh my. Ugh, just leave me alone. It sounds like Atreus in God of War 2018. When Atreus has that Excellent whole arc where he gets pissed. I'm hungry. Yeah, and I'm broke. Enough of your whining. Yeah, well, I'm broke. <laughs> My God, why am I laughing at that? I just thought that was funny. It was really mean for no reason. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. Yo. <laughs> yeah, wish we hadn't handed over the pass though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Another 17-year-old. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hunter! Where are you going? So that was Hunza, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. Oh, shit! Cornered! It's all right, Hansa. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. <sighs> Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Cast Stones. The Cast Stones? They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. I knew they were bad, but it doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick up someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hunter. You found him then? I do. I just, side note. Love this game to death. But this kid does not sound like a kid. Like, I don't know what it is, but like the model of how the kids look compared to their voice just doesn't match. And some of them do. It's just a couple of them don't. A couple of them sound like they're like 17 years old and he looks like he's 12. Jill, where are the other two? Eloise is watching over She's kind of funny. She sent Goots and I to look for you. You're him. 
I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the car stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against <laughs> He's so them, anyway. tiny, but he has, but like, a deep guilt, voice. Me and my mates would have starved. Oh boy. Cowards. You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? <laughs> Master Theo. Master Theo. Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Eloise didn't. It's Eloise's brother? Porter and Garf of the Crimson Caravans, the portraits from that he runs with his beloved sister, Eloise. Okay. She had a brother? And why would she? I'm just a back and a blade. He does kind of look like Clive. He is also very Theodore, attractive. At your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Bulkland their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate. Stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sister has asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Quest complete. Oh no, he's hot. So. Yeah, DC was a squeaker. What's the plan? What else? We find the car stones and we crush them. You get your traders pass back and I make Bok Lad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. All right then. They kind of do seem like they would be cousins or something. Onza, where are they camped? They look similar. Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft then. Good for me. Hey guys. Hey. You wanna play Call of Duty with me? Please, can we play Call of Duty? The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. Dude, Theo's sick. I wasn't planning on showing them any. Theodore's sick. We're ready when you are, Theodore. I don't know why. Oh, I'm ready. This man is like, he's out for vengeance. <laughs> He's out for vengeance. Nice try. Yo. Well, I'm actually so good at this game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I'm so freaking good at this game. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> huh. 
Tu não vai. And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, oh, purses. Ah, and traders passes. Dozens of them. Damn. Have the names been changed? They got those like candy rocks. Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Goots is, is somewhere among Have you guys ever had the like the no, rock I candies? Through it all and return everything to so the looks like it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good you know, news. You know, like you get the like the little Can we leave things here the in your stick hands, with all the rocks on it. Of course. Oh, and uh be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Why is Theodore like one of the coolest characters? This man was so pissed like the whole time and I kind of love it. Like I'm kind of here for it. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in. No, way, we love Theodore. Trust? Quite the opposite. Even Clive agrees. <laughs> Quite the opposite. I actually have a crush on Theodore. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Yep. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets. The bandits pulling their strings and the passes they were stealing. Okay. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. We did. It's only there. time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. <laughs> you are too kind. Why am I cracking up at them? I don't know why. Here, Clive. Goods is past. Don't know why. Theodore is Ask so funny. Ask him to keep to a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank <laughs> you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sid. Oh! She got him. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. Okay. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. Oh, wow. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand that's, our operation. That's pretty cool. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? So they're, they're allies. They're Wouldn't alliance. Would you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. <laughs> what if he was just like... And our no. honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. Oh, the Crimson Compass. What? Got another what thing? What is it? El has friends in high places, while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that... They're kind of sick. Both. Two emblems are joined to form the collar and compass. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? Nine million? We'll try the caravan. <laughs> nine million? <laughs> Okay, all right. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass? You found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. Hans is gonna come back and save the whole world. And we already have. Miss O's giving us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. Hey, yo, what? It's Don't say that word. And the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves... You're free. not allowed to say that. <laughs> you stick at it, then. You're like 13. Don't say that Gates. word. I'm sorry for stealing your past. Nah, that's all right. 
I've got it back now. Uh, and all's well that ends well. Eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. Oh! <laughs> Till then, eh? See you in 2030 when Final Fantasy 16 2 comes out. Chat, I don't want this to end. I don't want this to end. Like, I'm gonna be right. like emotionally so done on the wagon. when this game's over. Like, I don't want this game to end. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defenses. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go. What? What is happening? <gasps> You're quite certain your father has no knowledge of <coughs> I'm choking! I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sandbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend... Dude, they're notes, friends now. And more than a few at that. They're actually friends now. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. Yo. I cannot. Not yet. <gasps> your highness. Yes, you can. Please. As you are aware, the Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. What? Muhammad is not here to meet them. My people will be slaughtered. I thought they were too scared to invade. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. Dude. Dion, Dion, join us. I love this. What the heck? Oh my god. What do you know of my blood? Whoa, there's more to this scene? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Why? Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. What? Have you threatened my He's a father? bastard? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? 
Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel, and not with tar. <sighs> Fork tongued witch! Yo, like actually. Wait, what? <laughs> The flowers. The flowers do something. In consideration of your long years have of to service be, like, doing to something. the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Like, do the flowers, like, control them or something? Like, why was Emperor he not able to do anything? Emperor expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies. To ash. He just couldn't do it. It's more about his. Till all of Falisthea bows to its rightful ruler. Jesus. Oof. Oh, I love Dion. Dion's character is so cool. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sunbreck. Clive's mom. Until its grip is released, <laughs> the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now. And as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Thank you. Your Highness. Mm. 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 He did the anime. Mm. Let's take grunt. to the skies together. And bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. There's Joe and Terence. Terence stays. Okay. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Dude! Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is my decree. This is hype! For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella, and her usurping son <laughs> shall be put to death and the empire restored. Oh! Oh! Dude! Oh, I have chills! I have chills! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's so cool seeing a character that we like, we haven't seen like playable or anything like that with us yet like really embarking on his own journey kind of thing oh my god so at this point dion is saying that dion is saying that he's on the side like he wants to help but before he can help against ultima he has to save his kingdom from annabella is that basically did i get that right like he's not fully with joshua yet because he needs to save his kingdom from Annabella, right? Oh, dude. Oh. Oh my God. That's so cool. Oh God. Oh. Oh, it's so pretty. Hey, Torgal. 
Are we just like camped out? What's going on? One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. Well, they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? They're having a beer together? Yo! The harbor is empty. And half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. Just get them pissed. Get them I more. I thought you might say that. Get them riled up. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I love them. I'll send a Stolas then. Jill can whistle. I can't whistle, chat. Did you guys know that? Fun fact. I don't know how. Can't do it. Louie can't do it. Torgal? Torgal nap. Torgal is hearing something. What is it, boy? What? What? Something's on fire? Yo, what? But we didn't do anything yet. Wait, what? Medicine girl! No! This poor medicine girl! No! What's happening? I don't know. Toggle. Okay. Oh my god, how did you do that? That was like 30 feet. <laughs> this way. Oh my god. Oh, some Assassin's Creed stuff? Let's go. Oh my god, this looks sick. Oh, look at the moon. This is so cool, what? But I'm also terrified. <sighs> Gameplay. Fire in the sky. <gasps> what? The city's on fire. What? Shulgoots is fine. He'll be making for the square. The one with the bell tower. In the middle of town, right? Okay. What? So, so, is there any... He went to the Dominion and the company to Clive and Jill. So, Goots is somewhere around here. We gotta... Wait, what's going on? Dude. The music, the crystal, the environment. Oh my god, this is hype. Dude, this feels like an Uncharted mission or something. Like, what's going on right now? This is so sick. What in the hell is going on? Let's go and see. Right. What? Are there like bombs? But first we find gifts. Wow, we really did cut it off last night, like at the peak moment. <laughs> Just hope he's alright. No wonder you guys were antsy last night. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yo, come after me. Just try it. Just try it. Just try it. Try it. Try it. That's right. Sit down. The music is great. Oh my god. Hey, sit down, dude. Don't even have to do anything crazy. What the heck? 
Those bodies? None of the Emperor's forces remain. Wait! What have the men and women in the market did? The evacuation is complete justice. Good. Then all that remains is to dethrone the pretender. Oh! Wait, I think I know what's happening. Wait, so wait. Th there it is. The bell tower. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go. Wait. The dragoons are talking and they're going, none of the emperor's forces remain. Like they're fighting the emperor's forces. Dude. And they said, they yeah, they said the pretender. They're talking about uh, Olivier. Olivia, however you, however you say it, it's, it's really hard for me to say, dude. I, I'm from Alabama, okay? I can't pronounce things well. I'm sorry. Um, but, like, they're saying dethrone the, the the pretender. So I guess they're talking about, of course, the new uh, the new king, the new no left. child king. Dude, so there's, like, it's, like, the it's, like, a civil war right now. And the, dra dra the dragoons are, uh, I assume, led by Dion. We're having three to start. But wait, why are we fighting them? Oh god. The music just turned off. Can you see him anywhere? Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! Dude. Oh no. Must be one of the dragoons' pets. Chat, I thought that might have been Bahamut, but it's not. Okay, okay, okay. All right, but still, Jesus. Let's go. I think it has something in store for us. Get ready to move. Holy hell! What? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god, ow! That's insane! How am I supposed to dodge that? Oh my god, okay, okay. I got you. <laughs> Yo! Oh my god, oh my god. Dude, you're so done. Once again, I'm gonna be like Noctis. Oh, sh oh. 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 Ow. What is happening? Oh my god, what? Oh my god. All right, pull him, pull him, pull him. Pull him. We're fine. Yo, Torgal, Torgal evolved. Torgal evolved, I see him. Chat, look at Torgal. Torgal! Torgal evolved again! Yeah! Yeah! Go! Go, Torgal! Go! Kill! Yeah! Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Okay. 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 All right, we're fine. Block! Block! Oh, oh. oh! How am I alive? How am I alive right now? Okay. Oh my god. Last one. Just like Noctis, baby. Go, 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 go! Go, 
Oh my god. Okay. Fine. He, he waved. There it is. Ignition. Almost. One more. Let's go. Oh my god. That fight was sick, dude. I can't even tell if that fight was like similar to the the um the the like the blue dragon in the the crystal the first crystal that we went to when we fought the guardian. I assume it's a similar like similar dragon to that, but that felt different. So I don't know. That was amazing though. Oh my god. Just say absolute respect, you've not lost your inner child. <laughs> True. I really haven't, man. This, this this game gives me life. This game makes me feel like a kid again. Uh, over here, Clive. Uh, he was all right. The legend. The absolute legend. Goats. There you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. Neither did I. <sighs> all right. Let's get out of here. Oh my god. I feel like something's about to happen. Oh god. Oh. What now? Is that Mother Crystal's heart? What? Excuse me? What the hell is it doing up there? Oh! Oh, Hamlet. oh! What's happening? What is happening? <laughs> Why though? That reminds me so much of Game of Thrones stuff. Oh my god, there's Clive, dragons. Don't do this. We must leave. Now, Your Grace, I beg of you. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yotam. But I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! Wait, Dion's not in control. Oh God. Guys, what? Guys, oh my Lord. Look at this game. What in the world? It's like, is that the... What's happening? What? What? It's, lore, 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 lore? A any, anything? Wh what? So what's that? What? The one light. Huh? When a heart shatters, so does the mountain around it. What just happened? What just happened? Dude, what is going on? Oh my god, what? It just like evolved. That remind me so much of like near Automata with the towers. So, uh, 
know what I'm talking about? Although towers pop up. We destroy the heart. We might come back. As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? What? And leave you slot in the ledge. I can't do that. Uh oh. If you're staying, then so am I. No. I, I packed everything up before I made a run for it. So if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Nan would never forgive us if I did. Your mobile you. merchant? Do we just have a mobile merchant with us? I'm really scared for him though. Yeah, okay, he does have stuff. What is going on? Why did like it morph? It's like it's like Bahamut was in the sky doing something, killing all these civilians. Something's happening to Dion. And then this like crystal thing in the middle of the city like shined a light at uh Bahamut, like shot a laser. Something happened to Bahamut there. Then the giant crystal disappears, but then it reforms back into like a flower-like structure. What the heck is going on? Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the crystal's curse. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. Oh God. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. Music right now. Oh, my God, chat. Just what we need another flood. It's already turned them. Then there's no reason to hold back. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're all corrupted. Dude, I'm I'm like nervous. Like I have like goosebumps a little bit. I am I am very nervous. Seeing that. What is he doing? Keeping the Hamid occupied. No way is that the first time he really sees him. No Joshua. way. Joshua! Oh, I heard him say Joshua again. Don't, Clive. It's too dangerous. The music. Hold on, Joshua. I'm coming! We have to and we will. We just need to keep moving. Oh my god. Oh my god, this music. This is Please. Joshua. I'm here, brother. Oh, Clive. He can't hear you. Joshua. They're heading for the heart. And so should we. This music sounds like oh, my God, it just sounds so good. <laughs> 
Um. Oh! The dodge! The dodge! The parry! Oh my god, I dodged using the, like, the jump ability. Oh my god, I dodged with Garuda chat. Oh my god. Oh god. I can't see. I can't see, bro. That's it. <sighs> We're good. We're good. We're fine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We almost have 200 viewers. Oh my god. Chat. You guys are amazing. Thanks for coming to the stream today. Seriously. He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. I mean, he survived craziness, so. We're getting close. That's true. I love Jill trying to assure him. I love them. Hey, yo. What the hell is this? Excuse me? Who the... Who the hell? It looks like somebody doesn't want us getting any closer. I don't care what it wants. This song again, chat. Neither do I. Oh my god. Whoa! This song again. Yo, he... Yo? Okay. All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, my God. This guy's sick. Look, he's got his arm. He's like... <laughs> what? Hey, yo. What? What is that? Oh, God. Garuda. <laughs> the parry, though. Are you serious? Oh! This fight is so sick, what? Uppercut. Ow. But hold up. That's it. Let's go. Dude, I cannot wait for New Game Plus on this game because I am popping off right now. I am literally popping off, chat. Get out of here. It kind of looked like a clone of Ultima. I'm not going to lie. It kind of looked like Ultima to me. These beasts. They're getting stronger. Dude. 
We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. The heart. Oh my god. Is someone there? <gasps> oh my! It's you! What happened to you? He... he tried to take him from me! Oh my boy! My darling... Darling boy. Your boy is right there in front of you. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! <gasps> Answer him. We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you. Oh, get you. out of here with that. <sighs> Killer. Jill? Honorable Elwyn. Always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. Evil. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosalie might. to Sambrek. That I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. Might, though. You sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! <laughs> she threw a cup at him. That Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you. Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment was spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the phoenix and the duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Oh. Joshua. Ben Starr better win every, every award boy. this year. Jesus. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? What a line. Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. <gasps> oh my God. What a line. Have you not looked out the window? Such a simple but perfect line. Oh my god. Did he just crash into us? Oh my- there he is! Joshua! Wake up! Oh my good lord. Please tell me he's okay. Please tell me he's okay. I am a shield of Rosaria. And I will do my duty. What are you... Dude. <laughs> this guy is insane! This guy! Oh my god! W brother, W brother! Yo!
giving our chills. Clive! <laughs> oh my god, it's gameplay time. Mega Flare! <laughs> Yo, what? Yo! <laughs> I'm like sweating. Chat. Jesus! Fuck. True. Oh my god. Look at this dude! <laughs> what? What? It really is like a flower. Which is perfect. They always use the flowers, uh, symbols. I don't know, symbology. I don't know what you would say. In the Empire. Lunar, lunar tear, dude. Oh. My. God. Yo! Yo! Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go! We have our powers from the Titan fight. We actually have the same powers again. Yo! Oh my god, this looks like a raid boss, dude. What is that? What is that? It was on point with the music! That little, like, explosion was on point! Oh my god! We just got stepped on by a dragon. What is going on? Flames are rebirth. Yo, yo, Joshua, jo jo Joshua. Go! My brother, Are we fighting together with Joshua, dude? <laughs> you learned spit flare? What? What is What is Spit Flare? What is that? What are you talking about? Let's go! Yo! Can I like destroy these? Yo! Yo! What do I do with that? Yo! Yo! Dodge! Dodge! Yo, Joshua's over there, dude! Joshua's over there! What? Let's go! Let's go! Huge dodge! Yo, that's crazy! Boom! Uh-oh, get out of here! Oh, God! Oh! Nice! Oh my god. Ow! Wow! Dodge! Oh! Okay, let's do it. Yo! Massive damage! 
let's go! This game is like you're doing super sonic boss fights like all the time. Thank you, brother. Dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> but Joshua might? It's this song again. Oh my god, are you about to play as Joshua? Please. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this game's peak. This game's actually this game is absolutely amazing. This is one of my favorite games of all time. This is one of my favorite games of all time, chat. This is crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude. Oh my god, dude! Yo! Alright, lock, lock, lock! Lock, baby! Let's go! There's a lot more to do. Oh. Get them all. Get them all. Let's go! I feel like I'm fighting Solaris at the end of Sonic 06 right now, dude. That's what I feel like I'm doing. <laughs> like, it's so magical and so epic, dude. Like, oh my god. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Dude, what is happening to Dion? There's a bit in this song where the piano plays and I love it so much. I'll tell you when. Right there. This game is so peak, dude. Dude, this is so cool! Oh my god. Where are you going? Oh my god, what? They showed the moon. They showed that moon again. I saw it. I see what you're implying. That moon's gonna come back somehow in the end game. I just know it. I just know it. Like, you know why I love this? It really does feel like this game was made for me. Like, it's like you have fights that are like supersonic fights. I feel like I'm also playing Nier Automata half the time because I'm doing this like 2D, uh, like I feel like I'm in a mech doing like a 2D, like bullet hell section. Like, this is literally insane. Like, it's like they literally looked into my brain and were like, hey, yeah, what's all the games you love, JC? Well, uh, let's just do all of that, you know? Let's just do all that. Like, before you know it, 9S is gonna appear out of the, the the right side of the screen and like hack into the boss. Like, that's the only thing we're missing at this point. Jesus Christ, what is that? By the founder. By the founder. <laughs> that's, this is, this is, this is, this is not good, Jesus Christ. My stream can't even handle this. Like, I don't even know if my stream can. Please, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Stop. No, not again. Not again. No. Clive? 
Let's go, dude. I'm so happy. They did exactly what I wanted. They did exactly what I wanted, chat. It's like... Wait, are we not done? It's now or never, Joshua. What? What? We're not done? What is this music? Oh my god, what the... What? <laughs> Bro, what? Oh! oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Dodge, dodge. Expect a song like this. Boom. Oh my god, we have Joshua with us! That's so sick! What? Dude! What? Excuse me, excuse me, what? Excuse Oh my god. Oh. Clive, get behind me. What? I get in his bubble? Dude, this is like a raid boss. Joshua! Yeah! Let's go, dude. You're done. You're done. Triple coil. What the hell is a triple coil, bro? What is that? Dude, this is such a pretty fight, chat. I, like, I... The way, like, the battlefield looks with the flower and everything, like, I'm... Oh, my God, I barely dodged that. I was, I was talking. But it's so pretty. Like, I just... I can't believe how pretty it is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Dodge. Ow. All right. Oh. Let's use this. Let's go, Joshua. Yes. There it is. Yes, it's done. Oh my god, they're like tag teaming it. Oh my god. Joshua? <laughs> Let's, oh my god, we're both screaming. Double raw. Let's go. Was that three million damage? Jesus. Chat.
Oh my god. Oh my freaking god, dude. What the heck? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen like so many bright lights in a video game boss fight in my life. Oh my god. It's so amazing that you are literally fighting with Joshua. Like I don't I don't know why, but like you know, with the hype building up to this game, I never thought that that would exactly happen. I thought you might play like distinct moments like okay this fight's a joshua fight maybe you know like like oh you might have a phoenix fight over here and you might have a free fight over here but the fact that it's like together just unreal absolutely unreal oh my god everybody's putting smiles in the chat oh no why is everybody putting smiles in the chat the bot that the boss is we just we just beat bahamut there's not said Bahamut defeated. Oh, no. This is drinking now. We have to stop him. There's no way. There's no way there's more. Yeah, no, it's done. It's done. It's not done. It's not done. It's not done. It's not. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought Clive just did. <laughs> what? He did the same thing that Hugo did. Oh, Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Holy. What? I, I have goosebumps. What the hell? Did we just morph together? Are we like a Power Ranger? What just happened? God, where the hell are we? Wait. Did we just leave the atmosphere? Did we just leave the atmosphere? Are you ready? Are we in space? Ready. What the hell just happened? Where are we? Dude, we're literally leaving. We're leaving Earth. What? There's a full health bar! Bro! What? Stop! 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 No way! No way! Embodying Ifrit Risen. Enhanced versions of most of Ifrit's abilities are available for use as Ifrit. What? Bro, I don't know what's happening! I don't know what's happening! Trusting in our own. The music! Light speed! Oh my god, my body! This is Sonic Adventure 2, bro! This is Sonic Adventure 2! What is happening right now? What is happening? I'm fighting! I'm literally fighting the bio lizard in space! Where's the space colony arc, dude? What is happening? What? What? What are they doing? Look at, look at the boost! Look at the boost! Are you kidding?
Bro, are you absolutely joking me right now? Oh, we're gonna use some light speed. You ready for this chat? Light speed. Let's go. Light speed, baby. Dude, you can do it all the time. You can do it all the time. Light speed. Bro, what? What? Whoa! Jesus! This is so sick! What the heck, dude? Yo! I'm literally sweating. I'm actually... Ow. Light speed. Light speed. Burst through. Wait, use the shield. There we go. Oh my God. The music. one oh yo yo <laughs> bro I'm getting destroyed oh my god ow dodge dude this music bro this music right now, are you freaking kidding me, dude? Oh my god, I can't even control it! Dude, I'm getting destroyed by that. How do I dodge that? Holy... Get out of there. Get out of there right now. Oh my god, bro. What the... F <laughs> this game. Boom. Get out of there. Get out of there. Press the attack. Light speed. Light speed. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus Christ. I don't... I don't have any... Bro, what am I supposed to do? Um... I don't... Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Stop it! Let's go! There it is! Okay! Oh, Jesus! One more. Boom! Massive damage. Move back. This is it. This is... Guys, this may be one of the greatest boss fights I've ever played in a video game. I don't, I literally don't know what's happening anymore. This is insane. It's like they, they're like, yo, you remember Final Fantasy 15 where you play as Noctis and you can like teleport around? What if you did that in space? What if you were like a demon and you did that in space and you like merged with your Phoenix brother? What does that even mean? I don't know, but it's peak. It's peak, dude. It's absolutely peak. This game is insane. This is so my game of the year.
This is so my game of the year. Like, this is one... I will never forget this, bro. I will literally never forget this. What in the world am I playing right now? Use this. This is it. Let's go! Guys. Guys. Guys, what? Not like Final Fantasy 14, please. Please don't do that. We don't want to do that here. No, no, no. I know how that is. No, no, no. Jesus Christ. no way they top that there's no there's literally there's literally no way they top that there, there, there's no way i'm sorry the game could end right there and i'm fine like literally the game could end right there and i am fine dude that is literally like oh my god i i i i i need like water like i need to like throw water on my face like actually like Genuinely, like I need to put like water on my face, like, like just put water on my face, like cool down, dude. Like I'm literally sweating, dude. Like I'm literally like sweating. I am literally sweating. I am. Is way too hot in this room. <sighs> Holy. I can't even explain. I literally can't even explain to you, chat. I need, I need, I need you to understand something. I, of course, I've been hyping up this game like crazy, right? I've been hyping up this game like crazy. But listen, 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 listen. I just need to say this before I continue. I don't know if there's any more. I don't. That has to be it, dude. That has to be it. Listen to me. The reason why this hits so hard. This is this is by far the best boss fight in the game. I don't know how that's possible. I don't know how they did that when Titan was already the best boss fight in the game. This was the best boss fight in the game. This is one of the best boss fights, period, in gaming history. In terms of spectacle, all-out fun, and emotional story all in one, 
th like this whole set piece from like beginning of Joshua like crashing into the little castle building and us like going and defending him with Clive being like, no, I'm his shield. Like genuinely one of the best sequences in a video game I've ever played. It is like, this game is so criminally a 10 out of 10 for me because of this, just this one moment, this game is a 10 out of 10. I, do, I wanna know how long it took to make this, genuinely. But the thing I wanna say before I go any further, the reason why I'm freaking out is because this game taps into my inner childhood more than like any other game for some reason. I don't know, like I, I, I'm not trying to be like cringe and like, like, like dumb. Like I'm not trying to just be like, oh, look at JC. He's like quirky and talking about Sonic. But seriously, dude, I grew up playing Sonic games like Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, where like at the end of the game, Sonic always goes supersonic and he like boosts around you're in space and you're like boosting around fighting this crazy monster as like you're looking upon the whole world beneath you. And it just feels like the most epic thing ever. Like in my childhood, I cannot tell you how many times I played Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2, and like just the supersonic set pieces that I had as a child, like those were like, that's what like defined gaming for me as a kid. That's like what got me into gaming. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were my first two video games I ever played in my life. All right. So, and, and, and I bet you guys can relate with me and other things. You guys are saying Dragon Ball in the chat and stuff like that. For me, it's Sonic, right? And so it's so crazy being almost like 26 years old, chat. I'm, I'm sitting here almost 26 years old as a kid when I was like five to six years old playing Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2 and playing a set piece that in some ways is like similar in theme, right? It's, you know, it's a little bit different, but like similar in theme, it's like, I don't know how to explain it. It just like, it, it just taps into this like really like magical childhood feeling of like what I got into video games to do. Like what I got, what made me get into video games. What was like the hype bits that I wanted to like show my mom, show my dad. Like when I was playing on my Sega Dreamcast and I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys got, you got to see this. Like you got to see how cool this is. And my dad was like, that's really cool, son. Uh, what do you do? Like, are you winning, son? And he sees me defeat the bio lizard. Like, that, that is like what I grew up doing. And this entire set piece feels like a more mature version of that. Do you know what I mean? It feels like a more, it feels like they knew that I grew up playing stuff like that. And me as like a 26 year old now playing a set piece like this that has more hardcore like dialogue, has more hardcore emotional moments, has like just like that oomph and that grittiness. And just like, it just like takes it to a level that I've like, I like, this is like what I, like where my imagination went as a kid. And I just, I, I cannot express it enough. This is like, this just made me feel like a kid again. And I am like, I'm like jumping out of my chair and I'm not even, I'm not just doing that just for like stream reaction and whatnot. Like seriously, I, I like, it is, oh my God. Like I just felt like I was playing a childhood video game, but a modern version. And with, and because of that, this is like easily one of my favorite games I've ever played. Easily, easily. Like the hype was real. This is one of my favorite video games I've ever played. I don't know where it sits on like the list yet, but this is easily like, easily like a top 10 video game for me. At least. Also, is Dion okay? Because Dion is like corrupted. I don't for a second think Dion wanted to do any of that. There he is. Dion. Holy hell. <gasps> no! Oh my god, his head has like blood coming out of it. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There it is. Third, fourth, fourth crystal. There's only one crystal left. Fourth crystal, done. Goodbye, crystalline dominion crystal. Oh my God. Okay, he brought Dion back down. Dude. Dude, please. 
Finally, they can talk to each other. Holy hell. I'm gonna cry. My brother. I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I never dared hope that I would see this day. his voice broke. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> like, tear it up, dude. Damn it. <gasps> she Jesus Christ, dude! What is happening? Wait. Wait, my father. What the? F Did he just kill Olivia? Was ultimate what I'm was the kid Ultima the whole time? Or or is Dion just is Dion Dion is like confused? The demon me? That would tear our house apart. It's no more. Father. No. No. No, no. No. Dion, no. On the crystal. No. It's right. We need to leave. No. Wait. No, chat. I owe him a debt. Can we save him? Fine. Oh my god. I totally forgot that that could happen too. Can nothing be done to call them off? I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is this, Dion. Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Don't dally, man! Go! Your Radiance. I want you to find out By the light. Dion. Holy hell. Have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the dragoons at once. Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. What is happening? Wait, what? I am here to save you, father. Save me. A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Sanbrek. Flashback. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. <laughs> not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, 
The darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. Clive seeing all this. I bid yeah. you remember there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings and the master loses the power. What? Dion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards, take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Oh, Those man. Were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear, our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Dion's an absolute legend. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dion, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. He doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this. Hi. You did well to endure so long. Hi, Ultima. But you broke in the end, <laughs> as I knew you would. <laughs> and now Muthos approaches. <laughs> Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. <gasps> Go, Bahamut. Kinslayer. <laughs> what a scene! knows it's a long story I'm so happy they're back together again well yeah what about the mom what are we gonna do by Annabella you cannot stay here mother come don't be nice take my hand Joshua you're really sweet but don't be nice to her You will not take me! 
No way. No way. It's going to collapse. Wow. Mother. Wow. that blurs the boundary between your own will and that of others. Then we shall set you apart once more. The ties that bind you shall be severed and humanity return to its proper place. What? By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Primogenesis. Hey, yo, what? Lore? Lore check? Lore check? Crystal Flower, when Drake's tail came under attack by Madden Bahamut, the heart of the Mother Crystal responded by delving into his attacker's innermost thoughts and summoning into creation that which most plagued his tortured soul. The wyvern tail that represented the, trusted, the trust Prince Dion's father placed in him and his duty to the realm. Oh my god. So it became the flower. Wow. That's really cool. But yeah, Ultima's still in Joshua's body, right? So I'm... Or maybe he's not? How is he, like, appearing now again? I thought he was sealed. That looks insane, though. Twin Relax. flames. Unite the flames. Your majesty. What? Benedicta? Wait. Yo? Oh, my lord. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish. Men, you are as meek as all the others. What? Such feeble <laughs> What? Huh? Did the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. <laughs> Whoa. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment. Their flame burned bright. Wait, that was Ultima the whole time? <laughs> Soon, Muthos shall become <laughs> our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. What? Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, May Muthos return to our side. 
By primal genesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness. I mean, we had a feeling that mythos of his will. We had a feeling that. But while he yet clings they were to with it, Ultima. He has the power to forge bonds anew, and so we bid you find Muthos and sever everyone. Okay. Yeah. Lord. Lord. Check. Lord. Check. Lord. Check. The otherworldly being behind much of the tragedy and turmoil is plagued Valsea. He means to claim Clive as his vessel, Mythos, by purging his will, a will strengthened by the ties of his consciousness, ties of consciousness that bind Clive with others. He unleashes primogenesis upon the world, shra shrouding it in darkness and turning thousands akashic that these ties of consciousness might at last be loosened. So primogenesis is happening now? That's what the, the cloud was in the last scene? Shrouding it in darkness? Oh my god, are we in a land of night now? King of Elodin, dominant of Odin, the warden of darkness, through, through his nation's isolation and ash, allows Barnabas to remain aloof from the affairs of Storm. He is off elected to do precisely that. His movements of late would suggest that he has ambitions on the western continent. We still just do not know. Why does he want, like, why does he want Clive? Like, I, wh where is this going? To destroy that which has no physical form. You ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours. <laughs> Who is this? Who are you? Mother. Mommy? Wait, what? <laughs> wait, wait, woo, wait. No, Lord, 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 check, Lord, check, Lord, check. No, 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 no. What? What do you? Wait, 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 wait. Is Ultima? Wait, 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 wait. He said he said mommy to Ultima. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> or is it not? I'm so confused. Oh my god. Oh my lord, the whole land is purple. Or is there just like smoke over, over the land? I don't know. Is the sky like purple or something? How is your brother? Oh my god. Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. I can't believe Josh was here. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another arises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. I don't want it to end. This game can just go on forever, that's fine. Fine with me. Fine with me. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. Yep. Purple haze. <sighs> Things fall apart.
Oh my god, I completely forgot about this. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Bahamut's essence. Using Bahamut's iconic wings of light to begin casting Mega Flare. An immensely powerful spell that showers enemies. The longer the spell is charged, the more powerful the results. Tony won't be happy if I disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say. Let's check out this ability though before before I have to go. I want I want to check this out really fast. Thank you all so much again. Um, what is that? Ah. that is so cool. That is so freaking cool. What? What? If you use satellite, you can shoot at the same time. All right, let's use satellite. Yo! Oh my god! Oh, dude, it's literally like Vice. I love it. So I can... Oh, sick. Oh, so I can do that combo. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is this is near Automata mode right here, chat. There we go. Yeah, so... So maybe in some battles, I start like just I I pop satellite, switch to wings of light, start dodging around while using satellite, and then we like build up that AOE and then go boom, like that. That's pretty sick. What an amazing episode, though. We accomplished everything we set out to do today. I wanted to go live at an earlier time. I wanted to get done with this arc. You know, before I felt like really pressured time-wise, and we're, we're, we're solid. I, I was kind of told I need to be done around like 5.30 to 6, and it's 5.40. Like, we actually did that. With a little bit of time to spare, just checking out abilities and stuff. We actually did it. And not only that, I think we just witnessed one of the best moments of the entire game. <laughs> so, that was just absolutely incredible, and... I have like no words. Just everything that happened, I want to just talk about for just a second before we go. So much story stuff happened too. With Dion and sort of how he was being corrupted by Ultima. And how Ultima was sort of just like mimicking Olivier, or however you say his name. The little the little king. It's like I I don't I'm not even quite sure what it all meant. I'm not even quite sure if, like, was Olivier ever real? Or was he always, like, just, like, a pawn of Ultima? I don't know. Um, but we had characters meet their tragic ends. Characters that deserved some of their tragic ends as well. Um, the voice acting continues to be just on another level. I think, if anything, this, this episode was definitely one that proves that I I think Clive, I think Ben, ben Starr specifically, um, I think he should win an award this year. Um, his, his, like, voice performance, talking to Annabella in those scenes, like, gave me chills. His voice performance, when he's going and standing up against the dragon of all dragons, that was, that gave me chills. Just... I actually feel like he really doesn't want Joshua to die. He really does, he really wants to protect him. And and there's so much weight behind it due to everything we played and all the other scenes. And I I just just shout out to Ben Starr. I mean, this whole climax that we just experienced in this game. I don't even know if it's the climax of the game. I don't know, but I guess we still have the ending climax left, I imagine. But we also still have like two slots of icons left. Like this this feels like we're at the end game. 
but I don't know. Will we finish the game this weekend? I don't know. Um, we still have Odin to deal with. We still don't even have Shiva's abilities, which I assume Shiva's abilities are a thing. So like, what the heck, dude? Where is that gonna go? And there's only one Mother Crystal left now. There's only one Mother Crystal left, and it's in Ash, which is the land that we really haven't been to yet. So that's really exciting. Like they really set up Ash as like sort of the in-game crystal. Um, but yeah. God.